everyone, it's Jess again. I'm back with a new video for you today. And today we're going to draw and colour Foxy the Fox. Foxy comes from Bunnies by the Bay and he's in a really fun book called Camp Cricket. It's right there. It's Foxy the Fox. So we're going to learn how I draw Foxy today and I thought we would do the drawing part and the colouring part so it's going to be a slightly longer video but then you won't have to search for the colouring part later. So I hope you're enjoying these videos. Let me know that you are and also please tag me in the art that you create. Go ahead and you can put it on Facebook or Instagram and just tag at Jess Birch and Illustration. I would love to see what you're creating and then I'm going to make a big compilation of everybody's art and show it to you all on my um, Facebook and Instagram. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so let's get started drawing Foxy. So the first thing we're going to do is, if you're on a computer, get another layer and I set it to multiply. Obviously if you're just using pencil and paper, you're just going to have your paper and very lightly press with your pencil. So I'm just going to grab a brush here and I'm going to use a very small brush and I'm going to have it very light, so I'm going to make a low opacity. And the colour I'm going to choose is going to be a brownish grey again. Okay, make that a little bit smaller. All right, so we're going to start again with basic shapes. So the first thing I want you to do is his head. And so we're going to do a sort of oval shape here. Just start with an oval, kind of ovalish shape. Okay, don't worry that it's rough. This is just to get your basic shape. And then the other shape I want you to do is another little oval right here. This is like his muzzle. Okay, so you've got one big oval, one small oval. And then what I want you to do is his ears. Now, he you have to be careful when you're drawing a fox that you don't make him look like a cat. Um, so fox's ears, they, they will stand up and they're a bit bigger than a cat's ears. So they're a bit... You're going to start here and do a straight line and they sort of stand up a little more like this and then kind of swoop it around. See? So he's a bit more alert looking. So you've got a line, line, and you kind of curve, swoop it around. Back to the head. Okay, great. Now, the other thing with Foxy I made was that his on his cheeks here, on the sides of his head, I make his fur kind of stick out a little bit, which makes him look even more like a fox, because this rounded shape is a bit different than what a fox looks like. So what I want you to do is just bring him out to a little point on either side of his face. Perfect. Okay, so we're getting a good shape of Foxy now. Now what we want to do is give him a nose. So it's another little oval, but with a point, just like I do all my characters' noses that are like dogs or foxes, just like that. And then you can do a little tiny line at that point. So now he's got a nose. And then we're just gonna give him um, his two eyes, just very roughly. So they are quite spread apart and they're quite near to the nose, not close to the nose here, but along the same line as the nose. So I want you to do one eye here. So it's a little bit of a distance between his muzzle and his eye. And then think about where it is. If you were to line up to the ear, it's about there. So you do the same distance on the other side. And kind of, this is honestly the trickiest part of any drawing is getting the eyes the same on both sides. So that looks about right. Great. And then we'll do an eyebrow pointing up, pointing up. And then in the ears, I just want you to do another line kind of curving up on either side. This is like the inside of his ear. And a couple fluffy marks, like three. One, two, three. Perfect. So we've got his basic head now. Now we're going to move on to his body. Now all my animals' bodies, here's a little clue for you, they are all pretty much pear-shaped. So they start narrow at the top and they come round to a pear shape at the bottom. 
So we're going to start about here. I just want you to do a very basic shape. So narrow at top and rounder at the bottom like this. Perfect. And we're going to go ahead and give him his little um, white chest hair here. And that's almost like a diamond shape. So it's pointed there and pointed at the bottom. Like an oval, but with two points at the end, kind of like a lemon. Great. Now, let's go ahead and give him arms and legs. So his legs, he has a little bit longer legs than the rabbits that I draw, the bunnies. So we're going to start by just doing one little leg like this, straight down, and then give him a little paw at the bottom, straight, little paw, one leg, great. Now what I like to do is I swoop the leg up, and then to kind of, um, I'm just going to erase that a little bit, there we go. Um, the second leg, I kind of bring the line out a little, so it looks like he's standing a little bit to the side. And then give him another paw. And then we're just going to join this line here, from the side. So it's all curved, so you've got the paw, curved line, from the side, coming down into the paw. Same thing here, this could be a bit wider. That's okay, that's why we have an eraser. And we're not going to worry about it being wrong, because you can't really do art wrong. Perfect. So now he's got two legs. And we're going to give him his two arms. So I think we'll do the same, we'll just do the same stance that I usually do, which is the sort of perky arms look. So we're going to do like a V shape here into a paw, just like we did with the bunny. He does have fluffier paws, so this can be quite wide. Another paw on this side, same exact thing, like a big V. There, great. And then just bring that paw around. And don't worry that we did it over his white chest, we're going to erase those lines on the paws in just a minute. So what is he missing? To be a fox right now, he is missing a tail. And Foxy has a beautiful big bushy tail. So we're going to start here on the side and you're going to come around and flick up. Okay, so it's like a backwards S, I guess, elongated. So a little curve here, flick up, then you're going to take that, that's the tip of his tail, come down, follow this line, and then his tail ends here so this is like, can you see that S shape? I always try to look for the shapes that you see. That's an S shape there, and it comes up into that flick of a tail. And there's his big, beautiful, bushy tail. Now at the end of his tail, he has a white patch. So we're going to just do some fluffy lines here. Fluffy lines, fluffy lines. Perfect, so now I've got your basic shape of Foxy. What we're going to do now is do, if you're on a computer, another layer. This time we're going to make it darker. And we're just going to finish him, make stronger lines now. And remember how I love to do these fluffy lines. So starting at the ears, we're just going to start doing those fluffy lines. Follow the lines you've already done. And imagine the direction the hair would grow in. So you're just going over those straight lines. I like to do a little couple of fluffy ear lines coming out here. So same thing here on this ear. Follow the lines you already did with little fluffy lines. And then a couple sticking out, perfect. In the middle of his head also I like to do the same thing like one, two, three, maybe four. So I like to have a bit of a fluffy head there. We're just going to go over this line, not make it really fluffy. The fluffiness is here and here. Perfect. And then the same thing with his little pointed sides here is just going to be a bit fluffy, short lines there. Same thing on this side. 
Lower it down. You can come in a little bit here, but I don't want you to go all the way across because it can make him look like his head's been sort of just placed on top. Now his muzzle, the one thing I didn't do to show you was that he has sort of a, a white patch here. So we're going to line, line, line across to the muzzle and the same thing on this side. Perfect. Then he also has sort of a few lines here because this is a white muzzle here. There we go. We'll go over his nose again. Go ahead and color that in dark. Lighter at the top, getting darker as you go down the nose. Building up your color. So you've got, looks like it's more 3D. And a little line at the bottom. Okay. We're going to go ahead and do those fluffy lines around his muzzle. Perfect. We'll give him a little smile. And I like to do it right underneath, off to the right side, just a little bit. Great. Now I'll give his eyes a bit more definition. And I like to do that sort of, not a perfect circle, but kind of the lemon drop shape. A little lemon there. There we go. And his eyebrows. Thicker in the middle. Going down to be a bit more tapered at the ends. And pointed up because he's happy. Perfect. Okay, now we're going to follow down his arms. He has fluffy elbows. Same thing on this side. Down his arms. Fluffy lines, fluffy lines. And then his paws are not too fluffy, so you're just going to follow the lines you already did. Same thing. Round the paws. And then give him little paw marks. One little line, two little lines. Perfect. While we're here at the top of his chest, we're going to make this fluffy looking. There we go. And then down his side. Again, just follow those lines you've already done. Fluffy lines. Because we just don't want him to look like he's smooth. He's a fluffy animal. So again, on this side, fluffy, fluffy lines. And then his paws, again, they are a little smoother. Two lines on his paws at the bottom here. And just kind of arch that there so it looks like he's got a paw. Bring this line down, just go over the top of the line you already did. Over the lines again. And two little lines for his paw. And that little arch there. Perfect. And then we'll go ahead and just finish his tummy, this little white lemon drop shape here. Fluffy, fluffy, fluffy. Great. Now let's do his tail. His tail is obviously going to have lots of hair on it. So these I make quite big lines. And then as we get to the end of the tail, shorter, smaller lines. Point at the end, come around. Just imagine if you have a dog or a cat at home, what direction does their hair grow in? Because that's going to be the direction that you draw the lines. There we go. And over this little white patch as well. Lovely. Let's do a couple on his. There we go. Okay, so we've got that lovely basic drawing now of Foxy. That's great. Just going to clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to that previous layer I did, or if you did it in pencil, just that softer lines that you made. We're just going to clean those up a little bit. Okay, you don't have to, but I just want to make it a little bit neater. Finishing touches. Okay, around his muzzle. This is when you can get rid of this line here that is his white patch to make his paws kind of jump out a bit. I always like to start with a nice basic shape so that you get the, the shape right first time. Otherwise, if you start drawing really hard and pressing hard with your pencil, 
you might not draw it quite right and then you've gone and pressed too hard and you can't erase it well. So if you always start with a light drawing and once you're happy with that basic shape, then go back in and start drawing all the detail like the fluffy hairs and you can press harder at that point. There we go. Now I wanted to just go ahead and colour him today so you wouldn't have to look for another video. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Foxy's quite easy to colour. So if you have coloured pencils or paints at home you can do this or you can just colour on a tablet or your computer. Alright, now I'm going to do another layer. I'm going to call this one colour. And I always say you start light to dark. So we're going to start with all of Foxy's white patches. They're not dead white, but they're going to have a little bit of a kind of a creamish color to them. I'm using a watercolor brush. If anyone's interested, they are Kyle T. Webster's watercolor brushes. And so we'll start with all of his white patches, which is under his nose and his cheeks here. And his tummy. And his pores actually are white here. Oh no, they're not. I'm wrong. I forgot. Never mind, just leave that. Just the tip of his tail. And then you're going to just shade in a few areas. I'm going to make this stronger now. So you could press harder just in the areas that you think there would be shadow. So right here, as it's coming towards the muzzle, underneath the muzzle. And remember where you want to have your light. I'm probably going to have my light again to the left side, so everything to Foxy's right side will be darker. So shadows will be on the right. So all of his shadows, the darker shades will be on your right side, if that's where you want your light to be. Okay, perfect. Now, you're going to do the red of Foxy. So I do it kind of a an orangey red. We'll start with that and see what I think of that. That's fine. But my brush is too big, so I'm going to start with a light orangey red and then I'm going to build up the colour from there. So he has this colour. All over everywhere that he doesn't have the white patches. Okay. And then we'll come down and onto his paws carefully. Remember it doesn't have to be perfect, you don't have to get it perfectly in the lines. In fact, it's a very desired look to not do that. A lot of professional artists like to leave a little bit of white to make it have, their art have a little more character. So don't be worried if you didn't get it perfect because art does not need to be perfect. There is beauty in its imperfections. Okay, all the way up the tail. Perfect. So that's his basic colour, but we're not doing anything completely basic. We're going to give him a bit of shadow. Alright, so what did I say? The lightest side is going to be on your left, darker on your right. So what I want you to do is build up the colour. Ooh, that's a bit much. There we go. I'm going to make it slightly more red. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to leave his muzzle, I'm just going to start in the middle. See I left a bit of light there on the muzzle. And then move over and all of this can be darker. And again, same thing. Over we go. Leaving just a little bit of a light colour on the side of him. That left side. All right, and the tail, 
just there on that top. I want to leave it lighter. Perfect. And again, so we're going to build the color again. So if you're using colored pencils, you would just keep, like I'm doing, you're just adding, you're drawing on top of the color, you're working more color into it. Okay, and then don't worry that it looks a bit kind of messy, it, we're going to blend it. So build that color up. Lovely. On the tail. Now I'm not doing this as perfectly as I would normally do it in my books, but I just wanted you to have a basic fun drawing of Foxy. See, I'm building up the color. And again here, getting darker and darker as we go over. Lovely. Okay, so the last thing I want to do is add some shadows. So I'm just going to get a bit of a grayish red. You can just use gray or black or any dark color blue. You can use anything like that. And just anywhere that you think there would be a shadow, remember there would be less shadow on this left side um, under his paws. Isn't that cool how that makes it look like his paws are really sticking out? And then right here as the tail comes to the body there'd be some shadow there inside of the leg, maybe right here on the outside of his body and a bit on his tail. And I'm going to do it lighter on his face, but on his muzzle, you can add a bit there, and on the right side of his muzzle, and I'm going to build that up again a little more, always adding to the right, see? And then even on his chest, that still makes it look white, perfect. Okay, so the only thing I'm missing is some pink for his cheeks. Get a pinkish color for his cheeks and, whoops, normal. Add some pink in his ears. And on his cheeks. Let me put this on multiply. And just press lightly a little more so a little bit darker pink on the inside of his ear there perfect okay so now we're going to blend that a little I'm going to use my Kyle's Real Watercolor Soft Blending tool you can use if you're using watercolor paint you would use a brush to blend a little bit of water on your brush and just blend it you can um, use your finger on colored pencil to blend a little. You, if you have um, a blending tool, you can use that to blend as well for your colored pencil. So we're just gonna not completely blend, I just want to blend it a little bit. I like the look, I like to be able to see those wet edges of the watercolor as well. But it does look nice blended, doesn't it? There we go. There you are, Foxy. You've come to life. So, I hope you enjoyed that. Don't forget to show me your art. And that's Foxy from Camp Cricket. Well done. You've just drawn your first drawing of Foxy the Fox. I'm really proud of you. Please tag me and let me see those drawings. Um, even if you only draw it, you don't have to color it if you don't want to. Um, and anyway, just make sure that you're doing something creative every day. It's really good for you and it's only going to improve your art skills. So today you drew Foxy the Fox from Camp Cricket. There he is. That's Foxy. Oops, right there. That's Foxy. And I'll bring some more art lessons to you. Let me know if there's anything in particular that you would like to draw. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed it. Stay home, stay safe, and I'll see you soon.